Good day viewers, I've been busy the last couple of days, haven't been, had a chance to make some videos, so there's a new uh, driver for these ignition coils out, uh, coming soon on J-Car. It uses an IGP, an IGB T to drive these, and it's quite a powerful driver, it's all frequency adjustable and everything. I might um, actually grab it, because uh, you can uh, adjust the frequency and use it to drive a flyback and everything. Although, um, um, as it is, I might have to do a bit of extra modifications to get the uh, suit to suit a ferrite coil, because these are actually iron coil transformers, these are uh, ignition coils. These are actually quite powerful output, these, so... If you need uh, ignition coils and uh, door drivers and everything, uh, these Holden Commodore ones are quite good to play with. Got a good output. Okay, have yours all. This came off this NST out of that box. It was connected in parallel to the uh, 240 volt uh, side, primary side. 20 microfarad. I think I might have read this out before. Yeah, 20 microfarad. I tested it with the ASR meter. Even though it's not an electrolytic, it gave me um, a 20 microfarad reading. So, even though it's not an electrolytic, it's uh, ASR was quite low as well. It's uh, like a motor, um, similar to a motor, uh, motor run cap. It's a polyester film and foil rolled up. So I'll connect this up to the um, NST and see what difference it makes. I think it's just for noise suppression or something like that. I'm pretty sure that's what it's for. Wouldn't do much else. Okay, have you always just plug this in and turn it on? No noticeable difference on the output, but sure when it's connected to a, a proper neon sign setup, that probably would provide power factor correction or something just to get rid of maybe any flicker on the output and the light. So any slight fluctuation, this must correct. So any slight um, fluctuation in the uh, in the mains input, this must correct it. So your neon light looks constant all the time. You probably won't get a flicker. So I'm guessing that's what that would that capacitor would correct. So it's just a noise suppression uh, capacitor. Hmm, fun. All right, let's uh, power off. Unplug safety first. And AC capacitors don't normally don't store a charge at all, but it's just good to be cautious. Short those pins across, nothing. There you are. Interesting. That capacitor got quite warm there. It's actually quite warm. Mineralized polypropyl, and there you go. It says what it is there. Maybe this capacitor could be a bit old or corroded, maybe. It's quite warm. Mm, camera won't focus properly. Made in Australia, which is a good thing. They all should be made in Australia. It conforms to British standards. 4017, 1979. I'll pull the uh, casing off and I'll get this off and show you what it's like inside physically. Opening these up is quite easy. Um, let's pop it open somewhere. There's a little flat screw driver. There we are. There's a ring. There's an inner part there. That just snaps off. That holds this assembly here, which holds the uh, innards there, which is actually quite hot. And that sits on that little pin in there and centers it. It doesn't smell burnt, but it's just certainly it's hot. That's the extra capacitor there. It actually looks like it's had moisture in it. Maybe it's a uh, corrosion. 
it's partially uh, shorted at the cross. You can see the, uh, the plastic polypropylene, uh, polypropylene, and that's wrapped and it's metalized. It's wrapped so damn tight, very tightly wrapped and around. There's a wire going out there. That goes through the middle to your, your neutral side is there. It's your neutral connection. And the active is about looks like it's halfway through the uh, set uh, the set there. Yeah. It's probably damage on the corrosion this capacitor. That's why it got so warm. It's probably partially shorted. But there, your saw meter said it was uh, spot on the uh, microfarad reading and it showed about 0.04 ohms or something like that. For something that's uh, not electrolytic, it's seen to be an alright result. It's quite surprised to get anything off this, even though it's, this is actually four electrolytic capacitors. Yeah, 2.4 ohms now, 13.8 microfarad. Yeah, it's spit off. It's shagged. Okay, viewers, and it'll be enough for now. Thanks for watching.